Liverpool to Portsmouth, yeah, that chorus got the crowd screaming. What's going on, people? Fame Entertainment here from the Inner Circle. If you missed my last video, please go back and check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, go in the comment section down below. Positive and negative feedback is always welcome, so please let your voice be heard. Now, I cannot believe myself that I'm actually going to make this video, but I believe it's something that I need to say because of people not paying attention to pretty much anything. Now, Phil Spencer came out originally talking about the uh, PlayStation, and I'm sorry, about the Xbox One Scorpio and about how, you know, if you want the benefits of it, you need a 4K television. And people got all up in arms wondering why they needed to buy a new TV just to uh, play the Xbox Scorpio or Project Scorpio, whatever it may be. And I'm just trying to understand how can you possibly believe that you did not need a 4K television to get the full benefits of a 4K gaming machine? That makes absolutely no sense. So if you have a, a 720p television, you think you will get the full benefits of 1080p gaming? Like, I, I don't understand, you know, how people are making uh, this 4K uh, native gaming thing out to be something bad. They're saying, oh, well, 4K 30 frames per second, that sucks. I'd rather have 1080p 60 frames per second. So do you not believe a console that can run 4K 30 frames per second cannot run 1080p 60 frames per second with high-end graphics? You know, a hot with, with with the textures turned up. You know, just as, look as gorgeous as it could possibly look. Do you not think a four a game that can run games 4K natively can do the exact same thing? This is something that should not have to be explained to people, and it's just something that you people are going out and looking to nitpick and trying to find anything wrong with the innovation going forward in console gaming. And I specify console gaming because it's something that PC games have been doing. Even though a statistic that came out said 95 percent of PC gamers are not playing in 4K. No, do I think 4K is the greatest thing ever? No, 1080p is perfectly fine to me. 1080p, 60 frames per second, we can get it at a high, you know, high, you know, graphics at the highest settings. That's absolutely amazing. And I think that's more of what we would get from these new consoles. When I talk about the PS4 Neo and the Xbox One Scorpio, but you have that added benefit, you know, of games that, you know, aren't, you know, 60 frames per second or maybe not maybe pay 60 frames per second, which I don't think, I don't know why any game would not want to be 60 frames per second. But if a game isn't, you know, 30 frames per second to be able to play it in 4K resolution, I don't see why this is becoming something bad. You know, I, I just like, you know, most things, I think it's people on the call it, saying it's a bad thing because it's Xbox. I believe if the PlayStation 4 Neo does come out and say, yeah, we're going to have 4K gaming natively as well, then people won't have a big deal with this. But the fact that people have made a big deal out of Phil Spencer's comments that he had to go back and make another comment clarifying what he said is absolutely ridiculous. Yes, if you want the capability, if you want the full capabilities of a 4K gaming, yes, you need a 4K television. If you want the benefits of 4K gaming on your PC, yes, you need a 4K monitor. It is simple, people. Stop trying to make something out of nothing. And how about you appreciate the fact that if you're on console, yes, you finally get the newest and greatest in resolution on gaming. This is Fame Entertainment from the Inner Circle. You guys have a great one, and I'm out.